You may have noticed in the last exercises that sometimes raw counts of cases can be useful, but often it's the proportions that are more interesting. We can do our best to compute those proportions in our head, or we could do it explicitly. Let's return to our table of counts of cases by identity and alignment. If we wanted to instead get a sense of the proportion of all cases that fell into each category, we can take the original table of counts, saved as tab underscore cnt, and provide it as input to the prop.table function. We see here that the single largest category is characters that are bad and secret, at about 29% of characters. Also note that because these are all proportions out of the whole data set, the sum of all these proportions is 1. If we're curious about the systematic associations between variables, we should look to conditional proportions. An example of a conditional proportion is the proportion of public identity characters that are good. To build a table of these conditional proportions, add a 1 as the second argument, specifying that you'd like to condition on the rows. We see here that around 57% of all secret characters are bad. Because we're conditioning on identity, it's every row that now sums to 1. To condition on the columns instead, you can change that argument to 2. Now it's the columns that sum to 1, and we learn, for example, that the proportion of bad characters that are secret is around 63%. As the number of cells in these tables gets large, it becomes much easier to make sense of your data using graphics. The bar chart is still a good choice, but we're going to need to add some options. Here's the code for the bar chart based on counts. We want to condition on whatever's on the x-axis and then stretch those bars to each add up to a total proportion of 1. So we add the position equals fill option to the geom bar function. Let's add one additional layer it changed to our y-axis to indicate that we're looking at proportions. When we run this code at the console, we get a plot that reflects our table of proportions after we had conditioned on ID. While the proportion of secret characters that are bad is still large, it actually, it's actually less than the proportion of bad characters and those that are listed as unknown. We get a very different picture if we condition instead on alignment. The only change needed in the code is to swap the positions of the names of the variables. This results in a plot where we've conditioned on alignment, and we learn that within characters that are bad, the greatest proportion of those are indeed secret. This might seem paradoxical, but it's just a result of having different numbers of cases in each level. Okay, now you try experimenting with conditional proportions.